business um, is executive coaching and consulting work. And Curious Partners really, uh, the, the meaning behind that, I have a set of partners, okay? Uh, one partner is my husband, who's a, he's a CEO, he's been CEO for uh, public and private firms. Um, he doesn't spend a lot of time on parish partners, but he does have a key seminar that he contributes to the business, um, one called uh, Building Cultures of Commitment, and which is what he actually does when he's running companies. Okay? Um, another set of my partners are uh, independent coaches and consultants across the country where we pull together as needed when we have um, a larger company who needs um, services and we need uh, more numbers of uh, consultants to work together. And the biggest par partnership in this triad really is my partnership with my uh, clients. Okay, and that's uh, really partnering for their success and understanding what their true needs are and working to meet those needs. So that's uh, the concept behind Parish Partners. And there's a couple of statistics that I want to share with you relative to the work that I do. One around executive coaching is uh, there, there is a research group called Burson, and their specialty is talent management. And they did a survey of, and it's a million data points to their survey, so it's very extensive. And they were trying to find out what was the number one best, well, list of best practices for highest impact, okay, highest business impact. And they found coaching to be the number one tool out there to use in the field of talent management to drive highest impact. Um, so that, that's a really neat finding. Now you combine that with the fact that Training alone increases productivity about 28%. Meaning you take people through a training class, they learn something, but they often also forget about something, right? And it can go by the wayside easy and easily. If you add to that uh, coaching, okay, you increase your productivity that, that's gonna stick and hold uh, up to 88%, so a 60% improvement in productivity by adding on that coaching. So what I've done in my business is, is combine the coaching and training on, on leadership to have a very, um, powerful net result in terms of having to be able people to understand in very practical terms what does leadership mean to them and how do they implement that in their own lives and in their own businesses. So that's just a little bit of background on the company. And then I also wanted to give you just a little bit more background on well, how did, how did I come to specialize in the field of leadership. And uh, for me, uh, it really all started uh, way back when I was applying for graduate school. And I applied uh, to MIT in Boston for a dual master's degree program, MBA, master's of science. And one of the uh, essay questions on the MBA part was, uh, tell us what the difference is between management and leadership. And I remember, this was a long time ago now, but I still remember thinking, I don't know. Maybe I should be applying if I don't know the answer to this question. So I really had to start thinking hard about it. And I had, because I really, really wanted to get into this program. Uh, my company at the time, Intel Corporation, if I were to get in to MIT, was going to pay not only my, my books, tuition, and living expenses in Boston, they were actually going to pay me to go to school. And MIT is a great institution, right? So I was very motivated to find the answer to this question, and that, that spurred my initial learning. Okay, now I must have answered it well enough because they did let me in. That was good. Uh, and then I went back to Intel, who sponsored me. And I had a very uh, healthy, great career with them for 15 years, okay? I'm mainly uh, based out of Phoenix, Arizona, and um, I, I did, I always loved my work there, and it was a great company, um, a great time of, and period of growth. And during that period, I went through a lot of other leadership programs, okay? So the one at MIT was called Leaders for Manufacturing, and, the, and Intel, by the way, and they, they um, won an award this year, this quarter, for being like number one training company overall. I mean, they really invest in their people and allow them to take doing great training programs. So I took a number of these leadership programs and found that, you know, the more I went and the more I was just finding the answers to this question, and it was just fascinating me, and it became a passion of mine, and that is now my specialty, okay, is teaching leadership uh, to others. And so um, that's just a little bit of background about, okay, uh, where did my passion for the topic come 